Hey everyone, it's Ash again, the community manager over at Enspace. You asked, we listened. Packing in some of the community's most requested features, we think you'll be really excited for this all new and free content update for Sword Coast Legends. Players can now create characters using the Drow Elf subrace, gaining access to unique racial abilities, Fairy Fire, and Darkness. And for our more devious players, Lolth the Spider Queen will also be selectable as a deity. Content creators will now be able to add a variety of visual effects and dozens of placeable objects to their modules, including fire, smoke, spiders, mist, and more. Create your own apocalypse today. Speaking of death and destruction, some very important options have been added to impact the way death is handled in Sword Coast Legends. Stabilize will now take longer to perform, but will have a much requested visual bar to indicate its progress. Additionally, if you're looking for even more of a challenge, all new hardcore options will allow you to disallow Stabilize during combat. In the case of a full party wipe, we also added the option to kick the whole party back to the adventurer's camp and reset the dungeon. What good is a dungeon without its loot? Players can now choose which type of looting they'd like, individual or the current shared system. The individual option will only show players the loot that they themselves can pick up. Players will no longer have to worry about a greedy party member swiping their hard-earned plunder. An all-new large seaside village has been added with multiple exterior variations and a number of interior settings for content creators to incorporate into their modules. The fun doesn't stop there. We've got a ton more included for content creators in this update, including ambient NPC text, interior room layout choices, and the ability to lock and unlock quest locations on the map depending on the state of a particular quest. We're always listening adventurers, stay tuned for what's next.